does anybody else's kid like love to put blankets all over their bed like a hundred million little blankets it's so annoying to make their bed when there's like a thousand blankets to like sift through and fold and like put away or whatever so yeah just yeah. <laughs> that's how I'm starting this video um, I'm just driving and I'm at a red light look at that nutcracker I always find like heart-shaped rocks and that one caught my eye but look at this someone built that isn't that so awesome I love this island I love coming to Gooseberry Island in Westport. Hector, was that you? I know you made the other one. The colors are cool. They look better in real life. This is like a large heart shaped structure piece. One time I was here, and the person who actually built it was here. And we got to chat, and his name was Hector, so that's why I, <laughs> I thought maybe he built the other one that I just showed you. But this reminds me of like a special little spot where you can make a wish on something and I found this like really white cute shell. It's extremely windy. I'm trying to find a, uh, an angle where it's not so bad, but I'm going to place a little intention on this thing, this shell, and put it inside here. So I wanted it to kind of be like in there but sort of at the root so that's where it ended up i know it doesn't really look like a heart from where i'm standing but it it really is and it's it must have taken so long it, i know it took them a while to build this but i really enjoy it every time i come so thank you hector always a feather around. Headed back now. Wow. The sun came out and I found this little purple shell piece. Put it back. So now I finished the walk and I'm just resting here with this calm water. The wind is not as bad over here. Such a cute setup at the mall. I walked by Santa and he said hi to me. I'm still such a kid, aren't I? Christmas time to pick up what I ordered for my kids and yeah I just ran right back out because it's such a nice mild day and I don't want to miss out on it also I had to lower the music that I have on because I'm so not interested in all of the strikes you get from YouTube because of like music in your videos I don't like that like why can't they make it like Instagram and everything else where you could just choose music if you want to and in this case, it's just music that's on in my car. But it is such a therapy to just blast your music and drive. I love doing that, and I've been doing that. But isn't this packaging so cool from um, the store? Hollister. <laughs> I don't even want to take it out and wrap it. Because it's not going to look better than this. But I kind of have to, because it's two things for two different kids. Hello! Fresh and delicious. But really, my kids went in the store and I feel like the grapes, it doesn't look that bad in the video, but 
they're not the best. <laughs> they didn't pick the best ones. Anyway, going to have some of these because today is my first fruit day. I had a coffee this morning and now I'm going to have some grapes. So I'm only having a little bit because I want to go walk again outside. The beach was so nice today. It was beautiful. And I loved it. Hello, grapes. You ever pick any grapes, Wallace? No, I ain't never picked no grapes, but I done cut me a bunch. That was a line from a movie, and I'm always doing that. I'm always repeating lines from movies. So sorry, but if you, you know, if you're going to be here, you're going to probably have to deal with it because it comes out even when I don't mean to. And let's try these grapes. It feels funny to chew, um, like, the presence of the skin. It's truly uh, solid. I don't know why I just tried to film that up close because that was stupid. Probably just made it, like, all blurry. But, um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, when I left the ocean... I don't, I left the ocean, the last clip, I was walking, but there was a seal and it, it popped its head up and I was like, what is that dark gray, like little circle thing? And then it moved and it looked at me, it looked my way and it just stood there for a minute. And then it was like, boop, and it just bopped right back under the water and left. And I've never seen a seal there, so that was really nice. I loved it. I was like, damn it, I wish I could have caught that. But, of course, the second I pulled the phone out, it just was already back underwater. I was like, no. But that was cool. I've never seen a seal there, and I go there so much, and I spend a lot of time there. So that was that was nice. You ever want to, like, go outside or go somewhere, and then some particular person shows up, and you're like, I don't want to pass by them or go by them because then they just like want to talk to you or they just I don't know some somebody's outside that I always am like oh my god it's not anything bad it's just that the energy is like ah and I just want to like walk without talking to anybody and it's so funny it's like that was my plan to hurry up and bring the bring the little gift inside, eat a couple of grapes and rush back outside because it's gonna be time to, it's like an hour before the kids come home. So I thought I could fit that in. I hate it when this person comes because they always talk and they're just like, I don't know. It's hard to like get away from the conversation and it's not a bad thing. It's a family member, but oh my God. It's just, it's like, I just heard his voice from inside. I'm like, He's here again. What the hell? Always when I want to go outside. Always when I want to be like walking or something. Look at the sad forgotten pumpkins. I was able to bypass that interaction. <laughs> it's so windy here now. I hate it. It's going to sound like shit on here. And I don't know. The sun is like gone again. But they look so lonely. Dying. Yep, they're dying. <laughs> they look so cute. This poor truck, I always try to take pictures of it. <laughs> the scenery changes, but the truck is always there. Look at all these pears that went to waste. They fell off the tree. I tried to get some, but it was already too far gone. A little late in the day, but I'm going to have my fulvic acid drink. It's time to dye the hair when you have like a million thousand gray hairs. Yeah, thousand million, million thousand, hundred trillion. I just don't want to do it because I have like issues with chemicals being so close to my brain. This is what they do to me when I'm fasting. See what they do? That took you so long, don't go. 
<laughs> Those what is Jack? Are... You're on my vlog. I don't give it. So good. That's not fair. I want to eat this. It smells oh. good. Mmm, got... I want that. I want everything. Who likes my Ouija board cup? Which is really not mine. I bought it for my kid. And these are my grapes. It's actually a huge cup. Like, it's so big. So I'm gonna bring these grapes with me to my friend's house because it's a get together. They do it like once a month and of course I have to be fasting and they're gonna have food and I'm gonna have these babies. So we ended up making gnomes for like the craft for kind of like a Christmas gnome. It was pretty cool. So I'm gonna put those clips in so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this yummy soup. Packing it until he's as big as you want him to be. It's Friday and I have a chiropractor appointment in like two hours. So I'm looking forward to that. I used to like suffer pain, back pain for so many years for no reason. Not for no reason. I just don't, I don't like people touching me. So I had to like find a really good fit and the universe brought me a really a really good chiropractor and he's got like a really nice soul he's just a really good person and a very gentle chiropractor and I really like him so I look forward to going and my back has done so much better since starting I think I started three years ago and it's just it's like we so many people probably just suffer because they don't even know where to start to find like a good chiropractor. Me either. It just came to me at the right time. So, but I'm going to that and look fo looking forward to it. And I put on black and white filter here because I really liked it last time I used it. And also I kind of feel like it kind of helps when you feel like you don't, you're not, I'm not that presentable. I know I look the same all the time, but like, I feel like I look yucky today it is what it is so this is where my gnome ended up when i came home that is so cute the body the beard the nose and the hat so that's what mine looks like and this is where it's sitting for now i'm pretty sure she's gonna put a bunch of stuff up here my mom so, it might not live there forever, but it's cute there for now. Also, I made this ornament. <laughs> I don't know when. It's just like alcohol ink. And probably some acrylic ink. It's cool. It's just some abstract ornament. The candy canes came out of hiding. I know I wear black a lot, so this is how I look now. Some clothes make you look skinnier. I like, don't think I lost that much, but I'm gonna weigh myself on like Sunday, I think. And you know what I totally messed up on you <laughs> that I didn't even think about? We were going to like a breakfast with Santa thing, like my family. I'm not supposed to eat. I'm supposed to eat like soups that day, like keep it light. And I'm sure they're gonna have eggs and meats and all kinds of stuff. So I gotta like figure out how I'm gonna like be okay. The best. <clears throat> Look at this Eskimo King guy. <laughs> it's an ice cream place. And you know, I've never gone there. It's always something I keep saying, I'm gonna go there. It's right across the street from my chiropractor and I never go doing this again was that 10 or a little more than that who knows but yeah at least I can like turn to this stuff for the minerals trace minerals someone brought a grilled chicken 
Someone brought a grilled chicken home. <sighs> this is really hard. And they also brought Portuguese sweet bread. And they also brought Portuguese sweet bread, and it's so good, and I really want a piece, but <sighs> I can't. I was just walking, you know, on the road, like always, and I saw this penny. I don't know how I even spotted it because it really blends in pretty well. Like, I don't know, I just saw it. And you gotta pay attention sometimes to these signs and what you're thinking and saying and doing when you find them. Because I do feel like they're messages. Maybe not all the time, but you'll feel it when it's significant. Some of the bad boys that got loose last week. <laughs> Hi, what are you guys up to today? Look at all those broken shovels. <laughs> That's some heavy lifting going on over there. So I am on the third day of fruits, you guys, and it's just really hard. Yesterday, I didn't even really take in that many fruits. Like I had about 10 to 15 grapes and just some liquids, just some water. and um. I kind of had a little bit of an emotional day yesterday. It kind of, ugh. These fasts, like, you've got to be prepared for, like, what, sorry, what's to come. Because a lot of those emotions will come up. Um, so, I guess uh, tomorrow I'm going to weigh myself. It's going to be the first day where I want to do, like, soups, like liquids. But we are going to that breakfast with Santa thing. Um, and I know that there's going to be stuff there to eat and I don't think they're gonna have anything that I'm really able to kind of handle but I'll try to just see you know make the best of it and see what I could do but um I'll let you know my lips feel chapped I'll let you know what you know what I've lost I definitely noticed a difference I just don't know the amount and um I feel better overall, absolutely. I just feel like those shifts with emotions can kind of throw you off things. Um, but I'm definitely hungry and like I want to eat. <laughs> I want to eat food and I don't want to have to do these things. But we'll see what we'll see where this goes and where it takes me. We're at the little breakfast with Santa at my old church. So cute. Santa doesn't get here until 9.30. Look at all these geese. Just came um, by this water, bringing my kid to work, and I didn't eat anything at the breakfast with Sienna, so that was good. I had some apple juice, and today is just not that cold again. Hopefully we can have a decent night and do something fun. But this is my current situation. It was the breakfast with Santa today, and I weighed myself, and I lost 10 pounds. So fasting is good. Fasting is a good way to lose weight quickly, um, obviously. But it's good if you want to reset, like, how you're eating and stuff. And I don't know. It's, it's a lot of mental strength. Like, a lot of people just find that they just can't handle it, especially if they, like, have to go to work every day, like, at a stressful place. But... That's my account. Um, everybody was eating the breakfast next to me and I was just drinking apple juice and just like, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but I am hungry. And today I was supposed to start the soups and I haven't gotten to it yet because I've just been out with the kids and just doing different things. It's four o'clock. It's like 421. So I'll probably have some tonight and see like how it goes and just keep it light. And I bought like a tomato soup you know and then there was like a squash broth one not a broth but like a squash soup and doesn't really have anything else in it so that's what i'm gonna start doing next i've recorded a lot this time for this video and i think this is just gonna be like wrapping it up because it's long and you saw that i you know the results for the first it's been seven days this is my seventh day so that's 10 pounds down. I'm um, gonna keep going with the fasting and we made the gnome 
and you see how the environment is around me it wasn't so easy look where I am now my kids shopping with her friend and I just I, I really don't want to get out of the car and go shopping so I'm just waiting for them and they're in this giant plaza and it's just so much holiday traffic and holiday shopping going on so thanks for watching and i hope you got something out of this video and i'll see you on the next one